Hey everybody, welcome to the exciting world of memory addresses. A memory address is a location in memory where data is stored. In C++, a memory address can be accessed with an ampersand, known as the address of operator. Suppose we have some variables. I'll create a string. The variable name will be, well, name. Sign this a string of text. I'll create int age, set this equal to some value. Then a boolean boolean student i'll set that to be true a variable is a container for some data but these variables need to exist somewhere well they exist in your computer's memory at a given address we can find that address with the address of operator i'll display that standard output i would like to display the address of name then i'll just add a new line Here's the address of my name variable in my computer's memory. It's a bunch of weird letters and numbers. Well, this is a hexadecimal address. Every time we run this program, that number is likely to change. Let's display the addresses of age and student. Address of age, address of student. Here are the memory addresses. Again, all in hexadecimal. So these are kind of like street addresses. Hey, for fun, let's decode these to decimal. You can easily find tools online to convert hexadecimal to decimal. Let's see what these numbers are. Here are the hexadecimal memory addresses, but converted to decimal. They're like house numbers. Different data types take up more or less room than other data types. If we look at the distance between my name variable and age, well, that has a gap of four memory addresses, but the gap between my age and student variables is only one because, well, Booleans only take up one byte of memory. That's one of the reasons we use data types. We need to know how much memory we need to allocate to fit a certain value. If we're working with a Boolean variable, well, we only need one byte of memory. That's why the distance between the memory address of age and student is only one. 40 minus 39 is one. Integers take up 4 bytes of memory. 44 minus 40 is 4. 4 bytes. So that's an introduction to memory addresses. It's going to be helpful in the next topic when we discuss pointers. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this in the comment section down below. And that is an introduction to memory addresses in C++.